right, here's what we got. Brand new 92% furnace we installed yesterday. Couldn't get the conversion kit. We have a propane supply, natural gas furnace. All furnaces are shipped for natural gas applications. In this um, circumstance, if you do have propane supply, um, I took the gas line out here, but you have to change the spring in the gas valve and you have to change the orifices too. And this is pretty much how it looked here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six natural gas orifices. Um, you use your wrench to take these out and the conversion kit comes with the um, orifices that you will use for propane. That comes out and also the spring comes out. Now, I'm going to show you guys. This gas valve was a little weird. It actually had a vent plug on it, which could look kind of confusing if you didn't actually see these before. But this actually had a vent on it with a tube that went to the burner box. You have to take this fitting off, and this is where you'll see the... The adjustment knob, you take that knob out and you'll see this spring. And that spring has to get replaced. And that's pretty much what this is. They gave you a new cap, gave you the orifices. And also you have to install this um, low propane, well, low pressure switch for propane. And this is definitely important to install. They gave you, they actually give you the fitting too. You put the fitting before the gas line, before the gas valve. Screw this on top, and if the propane pressure isn't sufficient enough to fire up the furnace, this will turn the, the, the unit off. This is important because if you didn't have this, in some situations you do see propane furnaces without this safety regulator here. If you do under fire, that could eventually soot up your furnace. And for instance, in this case, a brand new furnace, within a couple of years, you're gonna have heat exchanger issues because if you run out of propane, and this unit under fires, the combustion is going to be out of control as far as the efficiency. So propane, you definitely want to have sufficient levels. If you don't, that's why you, they actually give you this um, low gas pressure switch for propane. That will actually uh, won't allow this unit to run in that in that um, circumstance. So I'm going to get to it and I'll show you guys how it looks after I get done.